at Affectiva, we develop emotionally intelligent computers. So we use technology that can track your facial expressions and we map that into a number of emotional states. Essentially what the computer is doing is tracking your main feature points like your eyes, your mouth, your eyebrows. Smile. Brow raise. Brow furrow. I try not to do that so I don't have to get Botox. Frown. So your technology, how can it know what I'm feeling? What is it looking for? We've amassed the world's largest emotion data repository, about 7 billion emotion data points. We've collected videos from over 75 countries of people responding to digital content, and we use that to train the computer to detect all sorts of different expressions, from enjoyment to confusion, concentration. One of the things that's scary about this type of technology is you think, well, will a computer maybe be reading my emotions without me knowing? Do you think that's possible for this technology one day? Technologically, it's possible, but we have crafted all our user experiences to date so that we get this opt-in beforehand. What are some ways that you're already implementing this technology? So one of our main focuses at the moment is in the advertising and media space. We work with movie studios to develop and test their movie trailers. Um, also, we work with about 1,400 brands and advertisers who use our data because they want to understand the emotional connection you have with a brand, and we help them optimize their advertising. What do the companies seem to want? People smiling a lot, frowning a lot, or is it just getting high engagement? Definitely high engagement. That's, that's very important. Important, but we're also seeing this idea of an emotion roller coaster. You want to take your viewers through ups and downs and different emotion experiences. So we wanted to know how people would react to one of our own CNN promos. What did we find? So what we did is we put together a study, sent out URLs for people to watch the uh, promo, and then we aggregated all the responses. And then what you're seeing here is valence. It's a moment-by-moment -moment trace of people's emotional engagement. So what's happening here? So user engagement was high, and then... It kind of drops. It almost flattens out for a bit here. And what's really compelling is towards the end, there's another peak of emotion engagement, and that coincides with the CNN branding, which is a great thing.